Hey, Zane, you want to see me? Yeah, Stephen, hold on one second. I'm on the phone. All right, okay. uh, just have a seat at the desk. I'll be down in one second. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to be a mechanic. Chinese New Year to you too. Okay, all right. Stephen, sorry about that. I just. Stephen? God, Stephen, how could you die on me like this? The last time one of our crew members died, no one wanted to tape the show. The show has to go on, right? That's okay. I've got uh, sunglasses. Oh, you'll be Bernie. That's your Halloween costume. You'll be Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. Everyone will believe it. I'll stick you in the audience and, and no one will know the difference. I'll just, I'll just give her to the body later. That's what I'll do. All right, here we go. What's going on? Ah, uh, uh -huh. oh, you, you caught us. This is, uh, this is Steven's costume. Huh. Okay. He's, uh, okay. Yeah, don't you, don't you get it? He's, uh, he's burning from uh, Weekend at Burning. Oh, I was going to say, he yeah. looked, he looked dead. Yeah, he, he said he, he said he wouldn't do it unless I carried him around. Oh. <laughs> you believe that? Isn't that right, Steven? Yeah, he's living the part. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, oh. Uh, well, I, I'd love to stay in chit chat, but you know the, the show's starting soon, so uh, why don't we get going? Come on, Stephen, I'll put you in the audience. <laughs> oh God! All right, gonna be a good show. He's he's really living. He's really living. Just, uh. You need some help? No, I'm good. I'm good. It's time for BSU tonight. Your host, Zane Cruz Elderly, and Richard Roger. On tonight's show, the best of tonight, Halloween special. With tonight's guest, the Halloween Safety Board. And now, from Mr. Roger's neighborhood, it's BSU tonight. Shut up. All right, here we go. All right, Steve, you, you watch him. Hey, everybody. Hey, we are on right. No, no, he's good. Okay. He's good. It's his Halloween Whoa. costume. Okay, You know, good. Bernie from Weekend at Bernie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's that time of year again. Welcome to the show. And if you haven't been already to tell, so far, it's our Halloween episode. And to get in the spirit, Zane and I have decided to dress up for the show. Hey, Zane, are you paying attention? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just got some heavy stuff on my... Uh, on my mind, what were you, uh... <coughs> what are you dressed up as? Oh. Uh, Blue collar? Uh, well, that's thinking a little bit uh, too far into it. I, I'm a mechanic, you see? It's, uh... Oh, yeah. okay. And oh, uh, you it. are, uh... I was running late. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, yeah, work for the right episode. Uh, th that's, that's nice. You yeah. look very, you look yeah, very thank nice. thank you. Uh, uh, let's dive in with some current events. Muncie gas prices were as low as $2.15 oh. this past week in the papers, which what they're calling a gas war among neighboring stations. Now, if only those hookers on McGalliard would do the same, it wouldn't cost me an arm and a penis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> PETA, the People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, filed right. a 20-page lawsuit against SeaWorld saying that keeping killer whales in en is enslavement. Well, when asked, Shamu said to the reporter, Shit, man, I got free grade-A food, a huge pool, and plenty of babes in the wet zone. Don't make me leave! <laughs> Prince Harry of England has apologized for dressing up as a Nazi at a friend's fancy party He's doing that again. A couple week. years ago he was yeah. doing that for recreation. It's now he's finding a reason thing. to do it. That's good. Other partakers at the party said he was just in good spirit until he replaced the you with Jew and started rapping Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, more power to uh, him. Uh, <laughs> uh, when uh, controversial pastor Pat Robinson was asked about Halloween, he was quoted in saying, it's the not for the devil. And what it, uh, well, well, there's more. And, and what it represents, uh, Christians do not value. When questioned further about what he meant, he said, unlike Halloween, as Christians, we don't believe in ghosts, and we certainly don't believe in the dead rising. Hey, Zane, um, all you did with that was take the guy's quote and forgot the punchline. No, no, that was the punchline. <laughs> what was it? 
pointing out that the irony, the pastor d doesn't believe in ghosts. Uh, oh, the, I the get dead it. Rising. Yeah, yeah, the whole Jesus angle. Yeah. Eh. Anyway, before you crucify this show any further. Well, you just did with that pun, so <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, uh, in other pastor news, uh, Mark Discol, is it too much pastor? No, They've been making the news, yeah, so we're going to put a it lot. on the show. Yeah, I think. Let's go uh, for it. Uh, let's a, go ahead and crucify them. Pa <laughs> no, 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 we don't, we don't, uh, no. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, Mark Discroll, a pastor from the church in Seattle, uh, was quoted uh, saying that masturbation is an act of homosexuality because it is a sexual activity that is done involving no member of the female gender. And other news, um, my right hand literally just came out of the closet. <laughs> All right, that's disgusting. Fantastic. Uh, as many of you know, Halloween is upon us. Uh, oh, yes. With uh, tricks and treats and everything else. But in honor of the holiday, we thought we would take a look at some of the worst treats, uh, you know, many are given on this festive night. Which brings us to our top ten list of the week. Where's our graphic? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Getting jiggy with it. Nah, 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 nah. Top 10. Okay, <laughs> the top 10 uh, list of the week. The top 10 worst treats given out on Halloween. Richard, start us off at number, number 10. Number 10, coupons. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Number 9, a free ride in a windowless van. Number 8, hole where your kidney used to be. <laughs> All righty. Number 7, food stamps. Number 6, a hangover. Number 5, going along with number 6, a 10 minute long voicemail from your ex. Number four, a carton of eggs all over your car. Uh, number three, mugged. Number two, <laughs> my personal favorite, herpes. Uh, and the number one worst treat to get on Halloween night, candy, candy corn. corn. Uh, no yeah. one wants it, so please don't give it to us. Uh, we'll be uh, right back as uh, hopefully the show will continue without I any so. uh, and hitches or deaths or anything. What do you mean? I didn't, I didn't say that. We, we'll be right back. Here comes Peter Cotton. Hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity Easter is on its way. Don't you just love carving pumpkins? I agree completely and unequivocally that carving pumpkins might be the best part of Halloween. Just, you know. You're almost done. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm doing more of a, a medieval style housing type of thing. You know? I still don't know what mine's going to be. I still love, you know, just like the feeling of cutting pumpkins. It has that certain... Oh, like the goo on the inside? Yeah, it has a certain, uh, what the word? Texture. It's like a wet and cold. Yeah, I don't know, it just feels it's weird. It's weird to the senses. Jack, what are you doing with your, your pumpkin? Huh? What the? What? You are raping Halloween tradition right now. You know, that's, you, just that's wrong. disgusting. That is wrong. Not in front of us. What? What? It's... It's a pumpkin. I'm carving a pumpkin here. I'm sorry. It's not appropriate. I'm sorry that I don't have the artistic abilities of you guys. Oh, it's Abraham Lincoln. Welcome back, everyone, to a special BSU Tonight's Halloween dating segment. Look here, we're going to set up Charlotte with a date. The junior high Halloween ball is soon, and quite frankly, Charlotte couldn't find a date. Could you? No, I really couldn't. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, good luck for you, Charlotte. We're going to shop for a new bachelor for you. You being the bachelorette, of course. Have you ever seen the bachelorette? Oh, yeah, I've seen the bachelorette. That's not going to help you at all. Now, Charlotte, just in a room far, far away from here are three eligible bachelors. You understand? No. Okay, so the, okay. you won't be able to see them, but you'll be able to talk with them. Oh, all right. I got it. Right. So these three eligible bachelors aren't here, but you'll be able to talk with them. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, bachelors, how are you doing today? Hi. Right. Good. Pretty good. Let's get started. Okay. Bachelor number one. I'm a very hard woman to please, but if you wanted to find my lucky charms, what's the most romantic way you'd go about searching for them? Oh, we're around Galilee, grand and mighty searching for the dags all day. Gone and gone, here comes easy and easy to clovers and country kirk. You don't tell Charlotte, 
Does the sky not bring you shades of blue? Does the lamb's wool not bring you warmth? I'd be behind in them lucky charms, and I'd take them. And I would think I'd hesitate taking them other lucky charms. I'm always in search of those new lucky charms. <laughs> Perfect. Bachelor number two. Okay, imagine this. It's my birthday, but I just had a really hard day at work. And I'm crying because you forgot it was my birthday. How do you make this up to me? Well, Charlotte, you like, you like sea life, marine life. You know what I'd do? I'd pour you up some shoes, make them myself. You could take a little dip, be a real good time, get to know the fishes pretty well. I'm just that good. I'm just a pimp. Oh, God. Bachelor number three. On a day-to-day -day basis, I need to eat four pounds of chocolate or else I'll get flappy gas. What are your favorite kind of, what's your favorite kind of chocolate and why? Uh, chocolate, good. Uh. <laughs> All right, Charlotte, you can ask uh, one more question from each of them. Okay, bachelor number one, I'm hungry and I want you to cook me dinner. What will you make me? Bring out the meal to meal in a serve any kind of way of fashion, drinking and drinking. And knowing of having a really can paint you a picture of how you'd want it. Have you ever had the Jennifer Emerson soup? <laughs> Great, Charlotte. Now, uh, would you like to ask bachelor number two a question? Um, yes. Okay, let's just say, hypothetically, there was a killer around the studio. Um, and they were, like, trying to attack me. What would you do to stop them to make sure I stayed alive? What's to say I wouldn't be the killer? But if I wasn't the killer, I'd kill the killer. <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> bachelor number three? Um, yes, bachelor number three. Okay, let's say there was two killers in the studio of BSU Tonight, and they were attacking me, trying to cut my legs off. What would you do? Uh, leg good. <laughs> uh. I'm done. All right. Um, Charlotte, would you like to go ahead and make a choice between these three fine men far away? Um, and I have to make a choice? Yeah, you have to make a choice. Hmm. I guess my choice would be bachelor number one. Bachelor number one. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we'll be back right after this. Hi. We here at BSU Tonight want you to be aware of the upcoming season, Halloween. It's a fun time of the year. Everyone loves it, trick-or-treating, but it's dangerous. You know, pills, you might come home, pills in your candy, drugs in the candy, razor blades. You could get jumped. I don't know, some older kids jump you. So this year, to protect yourself, we suggest you bring out a shiv. Now this, this is a butter knife. But when you go out, you and your friends, you're all packing real shivs. I mean real shivs. Prison yard. And, if, and just in case, you never know. If something happens, you whip that shiv out and you, you bring it to them. You know what I'm saying? You bring it to them. Because it's 2011, you understand? A lot of creeps. It's a sick world we're living in. It's a sick world. Welcome to the show. Welcome back. Uh, you know, <laughs> that, was a, that was a hysterical game show. I don't know why anyone's making accusations about killers and whatnot. <laughs> We're perfectly safe. No one has been harmed in this entire episode, but I would like to take a time and talk to you all about a serious uh, uh, thing, which is safety on Halloween night, because let's be honest, we don't want any of our children or any members of our community being hurt in any way possible. And that's why we thought we would take our time and invite some very special guests on the show. So please, give up a round of applause for the Board of Halloween Safety. They're on the show. They're ah! Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Oh! Turn that camera off!
Sit down, all of you. How do you fix the damn mic stand there? I want to make sure that all of this gets sounded, all right? I want all of this for testimony later on. I've invited you all here today for two reasons. The first is because before this episode started, Stephen was found dead in our office. What? Yeah, what? I know. No, it's, it's all right. He's dead. There's nothing we can do. We can protect ourselves. That's all we have to do, all right? Stephen's right there. No, no, it's just his costume. He's, he's, he's not burning. He's just dead. Oh. I put a pair of sunglasses on him. I... Oh, my God. Look, the other reason I called you here today is because I know who the murderer is. What? Yes, that's right. And in doing so, I'm going to unveil him slash or her. But first, I'd like to start by asking everyone a few questions. Vince, before this show started, I didn't see you anywhere. Where were you? I've been in the booth, running, running this show. And I I'm going back there now. I'm, th this is ridiculous. OK, that's fine. Be careful because there is a murderer. I'm not making this up, okay? You saw what happened to the guests, all right? You think I did that? You think I had the capability? You, 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 you were the one that walked in the office when Stephen was dead, weren't you? You saw me taking his body away. Yeah. Why did you happen to come into the office at that moment? Did yeah. you happen to kill Stephen? No. So Why he were says, you in the office? Because I was working. That's my office. Richard, you said you were running late today, is that correct? Yeah. But why were you running late, Richard? I was bleaching my hair. Excuse me? I was bleaching my hair. So he says, I don't remember asking you to come on for this panel. You're free to go. Sorry about that. That's a mix-up. So that leaves two of you. Charlotte, you're the only female sitting here. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And is it correct on the game show, you said hypothetically there might be a murderer running around Bay, B, BSU Tonight Studios. Well, what if there ever were to be? I'm trying to think of anything that could have happened. Oh, you're... I'm you're precious. So, so sweet and innocent, and, 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 I, and I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, all right? Well, I don't lie. Jeff, you're the tallest person on our staff. So? Yeah, you got a good point. That probably probably has nothing to do with it. But still, I called you up here because I was suspicious. And my, my, my stutter's back. I haven't had the stutters. It's fine. What? It's fine. Take a deep breath. No, we can't take a deep Just breath. Breathe. Don't you get it? There's a murderer in the studio, and he's killing people! <laughs> Zane. Oh, Zane, my head. Say where are we? Say we're tied up. Somewhere underground. We're tied up. I was about, I was about to reveal the murderer. The murderer? It's... Oh, you. oh my god. You're the murderer? How could you possibly do that? What did you expect? You guys made fun of me all the time. Did you think that wasn't going to result into anything? Well, I didn't think you would mind that. I, I didn't think you'd have us... Tied up, left for dead in some basement. Look at all the people who killed Charlotte. I mean, Stephen, the guests. You, you, you can't just, you can't get away with this. Those were lives. Well, when they mess with me, things happen. And they didn't want me as host. And you know what? Everyone else does. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just dumb, Charlotte. You know, I understand. I understand. We're tied up in the basement. I don't. I don't care. How dare you? How dare you try to kill me? And Richard, we're the host, for Christ's sake. You will never see the light of the set of BSU Tonight ever again. You can't do this to us. There is nothing you can do about it. No, 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 no! Game over. No! Oh, God, what are we going to do? <laughs> well... I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm untied. What? Yeah. How'd you get untied? She tied the like tying shoes. You don't think Charlotte can really tie a knot, can you? Can you? No. <laughs> there we go. Oh! Hey! Alright, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs>